we have four parts, sample sentences, three sentences, and then we have style guide questions. Then we have the first audio, the second one, and the third one. Please be sure to reference our latest edition of the style guide updated on this date during your exam attempt. I have already gone through the instructions and the style guide. You must complete three multiple choice questions in this section pertaining to transcribe me's clean verbatim style. You must get each question correct to pass the section. If you do not pass the section, you will be directed to the exam results page where you will have access to one retry. The questions will appear in random order each time you take this section and you may not get the same questions in subsequent retries or attempts. Part of this exam is being able to follow directions. Formatting your answer incorrectly may result in a failed attempt. For these multiple choice questions, write your answer as A, B, or C with a capital letter and no space or punctuation after. They've given us an example here. So it's capital and no punctuation or space. All right, let's do this. So the first question, crutch words in formal speech. The speaker says, I kind of wanted to go to the park today. Do you want to come along? Which of the following is the correct way to transcribe this according to our clean verbatim style guide? If you're not sure about about your answer in such a question what you do is just go back to the style guide and then search for this particular part where they've talked about crutch words so i will just go back to the style guide and control f to search and then i'll just type crutch words and i want to see what are the instructions i will just go through it and then pick the right answer and go to the next question just to show you what i'm talking about you can just come to crutch words under informal pronunciation and then read what they've told you here if the word is kind it's kind of if the word is gonna then it's going to if it's gotta then it's got to so you see the way you can get your answers directly from the style guide let me input my answer and move forward here is the second question in formal speech a speaker says we are throwing a party this saturday because it's jane's birthday which of the following is the correct way to transcribe this according to transcribe is clean verbatim style guide so i will go back to the style guide search for informal speech and then i'm going to go through what they are telling me to do when it comes to informal speech and I'll pick my answer and continue. This is the third question. A speaker says, I mean, I kind of wanted to go to, you know, the fair like this weekend, but then it sort of rained. Which of the following is the correct way to transcribe this according to our clean verbatim style guide? I will go back to the style guide and get my answer. <laughs> I am now in the second section of the exam, which is the style guide questions. There will be a total of 10 questions in this section pertaining to transcribe me's clean verbatim style. The questions will be true or false, multiple choice, or a short answer. You must get all questions correct to pass the section. Part of this exam is being able to follow instructions the same as the instructions for the previous section. If the answer is true or false, write out the full word true or false in the box below make sure you capitalize the first letter and do not put any punctuation after and they've given us an example no space no punctuation let's do this the first question spelling and formatting how should you indicate a change of speaker in a file enter a b or c in the box below i'm going to do the same thing i've done in the previous section so i will go to the style guide search for the spelling and formatting part i'll go through the instructions under change of speaker new line get my answer and put it in the box here and i will do that for all the questions from question one to question ten this is the last question for this section and the section is just testing your understanding of the style guide so you have to go through the style guides from slide one to slide 23 if you go through the style guide the first two sections will be a walkover but i don't know whether i have passed this section let me find out by clicking next now that i am done with the first two sections i have to transcribe these three audios so the first the second and the third have you cleared your cache recently not doing so before you start the audio sections may cause technical issues during your exam as outlined in the english entrance exam instructions linked in the check info page you must complete one short audio clip in this section if you do not pass the audio you will be directed to the results page where you will have to access a retry remember that our system will not 
not save your unsubmitted text. You must complete this audio, hitting next to submit your final answer before exiting the exam to finish later. I'm ready to get started. Let's do this. Transcribe the audio and transcribe means clean verbatim style using American English. Do not insert speaker IDs or timestamps. Start the file with a lowercase letter unless the word is always capitalized such as a pronoun and do not end your file with punctuation. Format the rest of the text, that is everything between the first and the last words as per standard English formatting convention. So we are not starting this transcript with a capital letter, we're starting it with a small letter. And when we end it, we don't put any punctuation, no commas, no full stop, no question mark or anything. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm done transcribing this first audio. I have checked for any grammatical errors, spelling, punctuation. I have checked using Grammarly and I feel confident that I have done a good job. I haven't started the transcript with a capital letter. There's no space before the first word of the transcript. I haven't put any punctuation at the end of the transcript. And now because I feel confident about it and I don't think there's anything else I can change, I'm just going to click on next and see whether I have passed or failed failed this test. If I have failed, I'll definitely do it again because failure is a stepping stone to success as you all know. So let's click on next. Audio 1 is done, so we are on to audio 2. The instructions are the same as the first one, so I'm not going to go through the instructions. Again, I'll just jump straight into the transcription. Let's do this. I have really obsessed over this particular transcript. I don't know why. I know you can't see it, but I have taken so long working on this transcript. It's just feeling like there's something I was not getting, but I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'm just going to click on next. I have copied the text to my clipboard so if i fail and i happen to get this particular audio in the retry it seems impossible i won't start from scratch but i have obsessed over it i wish you could know how long i've taken to work on it but it's time to move on now <laughs> tried to obsess over it because as you can see i have failed you didn't pass this audio note that you will not see your accuracy percentage nor can we give you any feedback regarding your results be sure to review the style guide before using your retry so i'm going to retry the audio just remember that you cannot proceed to the next section until you pass the previous section so i have failed this particular section which is the second audio i'm just going to redo it and then if i pass i'll go to the next section pray for me so i'll just click on retry just want to know whether it's the same audio or it's a different one all right same audio let's do this okay here's my retry i won't even say nothing at this point because a girl is very very anxious i'm feeling confident but i am also very anxious so let's just get on with it <music> As you can see, I have failed the second attempt again. My first attempt was completed on 17th August 2021 and I failed the exam. So now I have one more attempt which I am going to click on. And now for this particular attempt, I have to start from the top, the first section, regardless of whether I passed in the previous attempt or not. So let's do this. Like I said, we have to start 
from the beginning and now we already know what to expect you know we know the rules we know what we are supposed to do and what we're not supposed to do so i'm just going to go through the sections very fast get to the first second and third audio and see whether this time i will ace the audios so i'm done with the first section which is the sample sentences i am now on to the style guide questions i will hit you up when i'm done all right folks second section down now in case you're wondering i got the same questions they just reshuffled but they are the same questions so we are on to the third section of the exam i did pass the first audio in the first attempt like you've seen i don't know whether i'm going to pass this particular audio in this attempt and i'm actually very nervous why because i feel like i'm going to get the same audio that i have struggled with i don't know what i'm going to do differently really i don't know what i'm going to do differently but let's see how it goes keep it locked well here goes my first attempt of the first audio wish me luck i'm so nervous i passed the first audio in case you're wondering i didn't get the same audio as the first trial like the first attempt of the exam this was a different audio same topic actually but a different audio let's hope i passed the second hurdle remember i got stuck at the second audio in my previous attempt so i hope i passed this one and i hope it's not the same audio all right guys here goes my kryptonite i have done i think a splendid job this time i am confident and by the way if you're liking this video if you are having fun watching me fail or you're feeling motivated if you think it's helpful do give me a thumbs up even if i don't pass this test at least i will get your thumbs up like this video so that my failing can spread to more people <laughs> <laughs> anyway just want to click on next but before i do that kindly remember that every time i transcribe i use grammarly to check for any punctuation spelling and generally grammar mistakes so if you don't have grammarly do check the link in the description click on it and install grammarly add it to word or just use the chrome extension so here goes nothing <music> I passed the second audio. This time I was not crushed. Oh God, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be honest. <laughs> and if you think I'm making this up, just listen to my voice. I was actually very nervous. Now I am on to the third audio. The second audio was not easy, by the way. It's like they intentionally make the second audio hard. I have done a lot of research, but I definitely didn't take too long the way I did in the first attempt. This one, I just tried my best to do it as fast as possible and just do my research diligently. No monkey business. So now I am on to the third video and this is the detail of whether I pass this test or I fail. So what do you think? Do you think I'm going to make it? Do let me know in the comment section. What have you learned so far? Any questions? Do you have the same experience that I'm having right now? Do let me know. Encourage a girl and give me a thumbs up. Let me jump onto the third audio. So I am done with the third audio and this is a transcript I have produced for this particular audio. I have already checked for any grammatical errors using Grammarly as usual. So let's see whether I have passed or failed. All right, seems I have failed the third audio. This was definitely the kryptonite. By the way, not even the second audio. Let's retry it and see what we can do differently. So I've had my last run at the audio and I am really hoping that this is it. So let me just click on next and see what happens. Wow, I have passed that audio finally. I was so stressed about it. So as you can see from my results dashboard, I passed the first section, which is the sample sentences. I passed it in the first retry. Simply applies to style guide questions. These were 10 questions. Easy, just use the style guide as a reference point. And I passed in the first retry as well. The first audio, I also passed in the first retry. The second audio, same case. And the third audio, I failed the first retry. I was very 
very nervous but I have done a lot of research proofreading and trying to make sure that everything is correct. I was not trying to blame the system for my failure. I just wanted to make sure that I am doing the right thing. Yes, my hard work has come through for me because I have passed. Did you think I'll pass? Let me know in the comment section. Also, just give me a thumbs up. This is like the longest time I have taken to record one video. It's what, two and a half days now? Both the first and the second attempt. So good job. You have passed the English entrance exam. You will hear from us within two to three business days to activate your account. I hope I do because I have put a lot of energy and time into this. We greatly appreciate the time and effort you spent preparing for and taking our exams. So I want us to see what would have happened if I had failed my second try or is it my second attempt if i had failed this third audio the second time remember i had failed the first try i was taking the exam the second time and i had failed the third audio the first time according to this document as mentioned you will be provided with two attempts at the exam at a time for each attempt you will have one available retry per section of the exam we've actually seen that if you fail the retry of a section you will unfortunately have failed the exam since it will not be possible to pass if you have a failed section so our system will automatically submit your attempt we've also seen that if you navigate back to your exam tab at the top of your page you will now see a new attempt the exam link located below your first attempt clicking this new link will direct you to your next attempt and that is what i did i failed in my first attempt but i still had my second attempt at the exam please remember that when using a new attempt you will have to start again at the beginning of the exam and answer each question presented to you you guys have seen this as well i have actually gone through every possible scenario so imagine i had failed the second attempt as well don't despair you can return to us after a 30 day period to try again the exam will then be reset and you'll have two more attempts at that time so after passing one of our training officers will review your application. It is at this point that a photo ID may be requested. Once your application is fully processed, your account will be activated within two to three business days of taking the exam. No waiting list. And this is why I love Transcribe Me. If you fail, you'll know there and then. If you pass, you know there and then. Once your account has been activated, you will receive an email with further instructions and documents that you are required to read before beginning. I'm going to click on back to exams. I started doing this exam on the 16th and I was actually working on the second audio on the 17th which is the audio I submitted and failed the test even after doing it the second time that is why you see here failed and then I started my second attempt at the exam and did all the sections in one sitting so that is how you do the transcribe me English entrance exam be sure to like this video and watch this next video to get more information about transcription and transcription jobs this is Tessogamba, see you in my next video.